Hey guys, Master here, going to do a quick video just to show you the overview of the system, it's finished now. A few people wanted to see what case and what power supply I had, so that's it, it's a Silverstone Fortress FTO2. You can see there I've got a Cooler Master, 850 watts, one of the older series ones, but had it for about 5 years and it's been very solid. A um, few issues I've had, the Corsair H80 is extremely loud. Um, it makes the sound like a hard drive grinding, so I've contacted them, hopefully they can sort something out. Uh, if not, please just send me heaps of free stuff, Corsair. Corsair, 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 there we go, I've said your name enough, so <laughs> send me free stuff. Um, but yeah, there's the, the system, uh, GDX 670 in there, it's a monster card, runs games so well. Um, I'm going to do something with the cabling that I've got there, uh, the cables from the Corsair Cooler Master power supply are a bit short so I'll probably end up making up some custom cables. I'll also go around and show you the back of the case here which is what probably most people want to see how my wiring is. So there's a wiring there. I've tried to neaten it up as much as I can. Uh, I've used like a self joining uh, velcro tape but you can see there it's extremely good stuff. You just wrap it around a cable and uh, unlike a cable tie, you can actually just undo it any time you want and you can move stuff around. Very, very handy. You can see here that one of the problems is the CPU retention bracket is actually uh, lower than the cutout. So if you want to remove the cooler from this particular configuration with this motherboard and this case, you will actually have to remove the motherboard, uh, which is a little bit of a pain. You could cut it a little bit larger, but if you did cut it a little bit larger, you would lose those holes that are underneath it. So you would actually lose compatibility with certain motherboards because those holes are for motherboard standoffs. But that was a quick overview of the system, guys. Uh, some people wanted to, to see it uh, all built. And that's him. Uh, I'll do some benchmarks and things. So um, ex also, I should say, excuse the quality of the video if it's not very good. I'm filming it on a... A digital like an SLR so the, the thing is you have to manually focus with it which makes it a little bit tricky um, I don't really have the best lens to manually focus with so but any comments anything like that uh, yeah feel free to ask I'll help you out as much as I can if you want to know anything about the graphics card or you can see I've got the Avermedia Live Gamer HD right next to it uh, anything like that I'll try and help you out as much as I can and stay tuned for more videos like benchmarks and gameplays. So thanks guys and I'll see you later.